Well, the world's largest producer of chip-making equipment is Applied Materials. And this week, the company reported that profits more than tripled in the fourth quarter, up to 35 cents a share from 10 cents a share a year earlier. And while executives say orders are at their highest level in 10 years, in July, Amant announced it was abandoning a product line that was aimed at breaking into a new part of the solar panel business. Joining me now from Santa Clara, California, is Applied Materials CEO Michael Splinter. Thanks so much for joining us, Mike. Appreciate it. My pleasure. So first of all, let's talk about what's been going on with sort of the business cycle, if you will. You talk about orders being at their highest in a, a, basically a decade. But if that's the case, where do you go from here? If all these folks have been ordering up chips, can that momentum continue? Well, we think it can. Uh, we think 2011 is going to be a, a strong year for applied materials, uh, primarily because every one of our markets uh, has the opportunity for growth. Chips are, are everywhere, uh, but you can see some, some major trends going on right now with uh, tablets uh, really exploding. I think they're going to be the most popular Christmas gift uh, in a decade as well, but PCs are strong. The other area, of course, is smartphones are driving uh, chips uh, uh, very, we very well, and not just in the United States, but across the world. So when you talk about all of these consumer products, I mean, we are still, at least here in the U.S., in, a, a, I think we can safely say, a nascent economic recovery. What are you hearing from your clients and, and their clients, if you will, about the end user demand at this point? A lot of the end user demand is in the emerging economies, uh, India, China, Indonesia, those countries where consumer, uh, where people are moving into the consumer class. Uh, one of the first things they want is a, is a telephone and of course uh, uh, smartphones are just becoming ubiquitous. So we think there'll be something close to 400 million smartphones uh, sold this year, uh, almost uh, one in three or one in four. Uh, of the of the cell phone sold. Now, at the same time as demand may be strong, conversely, uh, prices in some areas are suffering a little bit. We've seen some of the memory prices, some softness there. Uh, TV panel prices, there's been some softening there. What effect is that going to have on your business? Well, we watch those things very, very closely. Uh, DRAMs are very much related to PC sales. Uh, PC sales, uh, as they, as we see through the holiday season and into next year, and really how many corporations adopt Windows 7 will really, I think, uh, determine how well PCs do next year. And so, so that one is absolutely critical. TVs, of course, you can get a great deal on a, on a TV to, today, but. Uh, L flat panel TVs are still growing quite dramatically. We still think that there'll be a 20 or 30 percent growth in, in flat panel TVs next year, uh, which should require the need to add capacity. And our products there are, are very productive and, and customers really like them. Uh, let's talk about another product line for you, and that is solar. Uh, earlier this year, as I mentioned, you did announce you were abandoning uh, your SunFab thin film solar business. Um, do you expect to be able to make up for and more than make up for that in, in the silicon business? Well, we do. We think that we have a very strong business in crystalline silicon solar. Uh, that uh, we said it was the, in the fourth quarter that part of our business set records. And in our, our Q1, which uh, ends in January, we believe that it will be another record sales, record orders in that business. You know, most of that capacity is going to China over. 75% uh, of our, our orders in that business are for factories being built and expanded in, in China. Now, on the flip side, I have seen some analyst commentary, and certainly this has been a looming issue for some time, that a lot of the big solar markets, Germany, the, the biggest uh, among them, are going to be cutting subsidies for uh, solar power in particular. You look at that, you look at uh, now a Republican-controlled house here in the U.S. Is that going to hurt uh, the solar business for your, for your clients? Well, the way the, the feed-in tariffs work in Europe is that if the, if the feed-in tariffs go down, actually it spurs demand, it pushes prices down, so it expands the, the market. It actually, year after year, has proven to be a good thing for the solar industry. Uh, uh, solar in the United States uh, really is all concentrated in California. Uh, California will do about uh, something close to a gigawatt this year. Maybe okay. it'll go... 
go up about 50 percent uh, next year. We're really looking for China to be the Mike? next big expanding market. Mike, we have to leave it there. I'm sorry. Mike Splinter of AMAT.